What's going on, everybody? Hope you're all having a fantastic day today. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I think that us as a community can really come together on this one topic here and agree that people still just don't play enough OBJ in X Defiant. I think that is one of the biggest problems in this game, minus, you know, a few balancing things here and there, and obviously netcode and hit reg. Honestly, though, I feel like it's not as bad as people make it out to be, but every experience varies. But Overall, they're still working on it, and they're still prioritizing it. But minus the glaring issues, I think one of the biggest things that holds this game back right now is the fact that people still refuse to play OBJ. Now, yes, that can be resolved with the implementation of Team Deathmatch, which the developers already said is coming into this game. I don't know if it's going to be this week or next week, but we will be seeing it soon, which will take those players who just refuse to touch OBJ. They'll probably leave, go to DDM, which means the playlist with OBJ will still probably be focused on a bit more by actual OBJ players, objective player. God, I know people get so mad when I say OBJ. I'm sorry, guys. Like I said, I've been saying this since the beginning of time. It, it's, it really is no difference between saying OBJ and objective. You, you know, they're both set at the same pace, but I just prefer saying OBJ. Oh, my bad. <laughs> but again, I, I think it will improve if TDM is implemented into the game, but I think the problem is still going to be there. I mean, just look at any other game that, you know, has uh, objective styled modes. You still get the fair share of players who just would rather frag out and just go do their own thing. But ladies and gentlemen, I just saw a post over on Twitter by Mark Rubin, which is really, really huge information, huge news for the future of X Define. I think you all are going to absolutely love what is about to be done to this game. But of course, ladies and gentlemen, before we go ahead and dive deep, if you guys are interested in more content just like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell. I post daily here at 8 in the morning Eastern time. And if you guys want to check out any of my live streams, I'll be live today over on Twitch between 12 to 1 p.m. Eastern time. You guys can find a link to that channel down in the description of this video. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, there was a post from HD Gaming that said, Mark, I am seeing the same thing most of the time I see a scoreboard. Low objective scores. Could we increase the XP gains from objective only scores to increase players actually playing the OBJ? And Mark actually went ahead and responded saying that is something we are looking at. Guys, 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 this is... Is th this is why I just love this team. This is why I love this team. Any other game out there that launches things like this, like when it comes down to you know how much score you're going to be getting for, you know, they never get touched. The game drops, that becomes irrelevant. The developers will only focus on bugs, game breaking things, patches, and you know maybe updating the balances of the meta and weapons and stuff of that sorts. But when it comes down to how much score you get for playing OBJ or any stuff like this. It's never touched upon, but here we are in X Defiant and the developers are still trying to find a good balance. This has been the best preseason I think I've ever seen in any game because they're actually putting in real work for the preseason to try to balance out this game to make it good for obviously when season one launches and this game is super duper duper official. I love these guys, but guys, this is huge news because this means that the future of X Defiant is definitely going to be more OBJ based, which is what we want. Again, don't get me wrong. Killing in this game and you know, how the guns feel, it's phenomenal. It's so crispy. It's so good. Uh, like, seriously, the developers have nailed it. But one of the best factors of this game is how much it supports OBJ players. And I'll be honest, right now as it is, when it comes to how much score you get... I definitely noticed that you need to play some type of objective in order to be able to be successful in this game, right? Like, if I'm sitting here with a squad who is, you know, just as good as me, if not better than me, I'm not going to be able to simply outplay them by only fragging out like it's Call of Duty. And, you know, I could drop five, ten streaks, and I'm going to be guaranteed at the top of the lead. No, 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 that's nonsense. That doesn't happen in X Defined. I'm going to get stomped. When I say stomped, I mean stomped. Stomped off the leaderboard. If I only focus on KD, I will be fourth or fifth place. I will never see the light at the top three ever again if I don't play objective. It, it's actually insane. So it's good as it is, but it still doesn't incentivize people to want to play it. And I think people have said it time and time and time again. I've seen it on many different channels. And I'm going to say it here too as well because I think it's very important. But I think one of the best things that could be done is rewarding people weapon experience for killing people on and off of the objectives. I think that would, you know, obviously improve how people play the game tremendously. Yes, giving more objective score will be great, you know, to players who just simply play OBJ. It will be phenomenal. But at the end of the day, like I said, 
I'm still I'm still losing games. I'm still you know not losing games. Sorry, I'm still getting at the bottom of the leaderboards if I only go for frags. So you know that's not a big enough incentive for people. I think one of the biggest incentives is just simply the weapon grind. I mean, think about it. Even for a casual player, for me personally, it was harsh, and I put in a decent amount of time into X Define. Okay, I can only imagine a person who might have 30 minutes to an hour a day to hop on X Define and then try to grind up weapons so they can match the rest of the meta classes out there in this game it's a hard grind now luckily we have been able to have a bunch of double xp events pretty much every weekend it's actually wild and low-key it's it's cool i wouldn't even mind if every weekend was a double xp event that you know shoot line me up but they'll probably stop it at some point in time but We've been very lucky. We've been very lucky. So people have been able to grind it out still. But even for people who, you know, have to work during the weekends, it's plenty of people that can't, you know, grind out the game during these double XP weekends and they miss out on everything and they still only get an hour to grind. You know, it's it's very hard. And when they do get into an experience, they know for a fact that playing OBJ might lead to a death. I'll be honest, you know, I, I know I talk it up all the time and I encourage people to play OBJ, but it is definitely a skill. It's hard to be able to mix OBJ with fragging out. It's not an easy thing to do. And usually when you try to capture something, it leads to a death. You know, it's hard to get a bunch of kills. And if you're casual and you're just trying to get these freaking attachments, more than likely, you're not going to want to go to the you know objective there. You're going to want to go off to the outskirts and maybe farm up some kills where you can find them and just try to get as many kills as you could possibly get because you want those attachments. You want those camos. So like I said, I think this would be the best way of handling it. Just give players a little extra oomph, a little extra push to want to hop on the objective, right? Give them a little bit more XP if they kill an enemy who's taking an objective. Or give them XP if they are defending it, if they're standing on the objective and they're killing people from trying to hop on. I just feel like there should be something extra, an incentive to want to actually play what the game mode is telling you to do. Because right now, Nobody wants to do so. If you hop on an objective, you're just risking your life, which a person with only an hour to spare doesn't want to do that as much. They don't want to risk their life every single time. No, they want to try to maximize as many kills as they can get. But if they can maximize their kills while also being able to, you know, get XP towards the weapons through playing on the objective, I think that they wouldn't mind. They truthfully wouldn't mind because they would know that it's an incentive to hop on and it would actually quicken the progress, right? If you get more XP for standing on an objective and getting kills or defending it and getting kills, then players, especially the casuals, are going to look at that and say, okay, well, I'm wasting time on the outskirts here. Why would I go to the outskirts? Why would I try to frag out in different areas where it's safer when I get almost double the amount of XP for actually fragging out on the objective itself? You see, I don't know. I just think that would personally be able to handle a lot of the problems that we see here. Because like I said before, I don't think just simply increasing your objective score for playing it is going to really do anything here. Yeah, it's going to make my life easier. A lot of players who are also like me, you know, our lives are going to be great because we already play objective and we get frags all the time. So it's just going to be easier to get first place. But other players aren't looking at the game like that. And I think those are the ones that the majority of players are complaining about. Because a lot of the sweats know. Because, you know, sweats, they want to be at the top of the leaderboard. And they know they need to mix them both. They can't just hyper-focus one or the other. Casuals, they don't care about that, right? Who cares about that stuff? They just want to get their attachments and maybe get some cool camos and have something to grind. So, in order to get those players to actually help out in the game, I think that would be the best way of handling it. But ladies and gentlemen, do me a massive favor and go down the comment section and let me know what you guys think is a good idea. Because honestly, you know, I'm just trying to throw ideas out there. But realistically, you guys have some of the best ideas down in the comments. What do you guys think would be the best way of balancing out XP here? Because again, like I said, yeah, it's great to get more objective score. But I think people are focusing on their weapon score, their weapon XP more. And if you were to incorporate that somehow, some way with the OBJ... 
that would be a perfect middle ground. But again, leave your opinions down below. And to Mark Rubin and the team, just thank you for listening to us. Thank you for trying to find alternatives. Thank you for just continuously working on this game and trying to perfect it to make the best it could possibly be for this overall community. It feels great. It feels amazing to be a part of a community like this again. And I'm glad a lot of others are enjoying that feeling as well. But ladies and gentlemen, as always, if you enjoyed today's video, leave a like. If you hate it, leave a dislike. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell. We post daily here at 8 in the morning Eastern time. And if you want to catch any of my live streams, I'll be live today over on Twitch between 12 to 1 p.m. Eastern time. You guys can find a link to that channel down in the description of this video. But as always, thank you for tuning in. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.